Welcome back to my channel. I'd just like to show you a quick video. We as carpenters get asked all the time to first fix bathrooms. Now, when I started my time, I never really got involved with first fixing bathrooms much because it was very simple then. You know, there was a, a bath, a basin and pedestal and a back to wall WC with a cistern. So the room, the plumber would come along, he'd get his pipes where he needed to get them and away you go. So in the last sort of 35 years, things have changed so much and we have got so many different types of fitting in bathrooms which are built into walls. All you've got is an outlet and a fixed head for a shower, for example, maybe a handset, a bath with taps coming out the wall or out of the floor on a big stand. And any carpenter knowing about what this is like to get involved with this knows that there is just a myriad of things you need to understand and also guess. So I'm gonna show you a shower valve going into a bit of stud work. So the stud work was put up a while back. One side of the room's finished, plastered. The inside of the bathroom is open to allow us to put the valve, which has now been sourced, sent by the client to site, and we've got to get it in. We need to know what thickness of tile we're gonna have and also you know, where the tile joints are and everything else. So let's get on and go and fit that shower valve. Part of this project has also involved removing the boiler. This is the boiler that was here and refixing it. It was fixed so badly, the flue was so out of level, it was running the wrong way in the loft and it, was, it should never have been signed off. Anyway, we've inherited that now. We've had it all back out and um, Gary who does all of my gas safe work and all of my heating engineering work has done a super job of this. You can see it's been rationalized. This is what it should look like. This is what the pipe work should look like. Everything in the right order, nicely clipped back, true plum. I believe that when the job is done, you know, you're selling this house or sometime one day, someone will come and look at that and they'll take some comfort in the fact that it's all gonna work hopefully. So this is the position where the shower valve is going to be. It's actually gonna be, as you enter the shower, there's gonna be a glass wall or a glass screen here. You enter, you turn it on, and then the fixed head is over there, pouring water on top of you. And then there's a handset which is gonna be inside or positioned in the stud wall here. So the valve that I've got is a thermostatic valve and it's very straightforward. I mean, I need to remove this nogging because it's right where we need this to be. We'll mount a patris in at exactly the right depth. Now, the depth needs to suit the tiles, but before we even get to tiling, we're gonna have a tile backer board on here, and then the tile is gonna come along and he's gonna use probably six millimeters at least of tile adhesive then there's the thickness of the tile. And in this case, they're almost 12 millimeters, so they're quite thick. And anyone who's fitted this stuff before knows that there's a minimum and maximum that you can actually get this fitted in. And it is absolutely weenie. It's about 22 millimeters of play. So what you need to do, what we tend to do, is make sure that we've got, where it's wall thickness minimum, we try to make sure our backer board is just the other side of that to allow as much for the tiler to get his tiles in. I've seen this on jobs so many times where I've rocked up and um, not my jobs, but jobs I've visited and there's been maybe doing some troubleshooting and they can't get the fronts of the showers on because, you know, uh, someone popped this in, they fixed it, but they just didn't allow enough for that. And when you put the plate on, it won't go on. And that means tiles off, you know, undo all of the plumbing, move the valve forward. It's just not very good. And, and to be fair, they really don't give you enough for the maximum and minimum. Even if you had your backer board right on the minimum line there, for our case, you just about only just get the tiling in that space there. So I do think that manufacturers need to re-look at this because it's okay if you're using a really thin ceramic tile, but who uses those anymore? We're using porcelain, we're using sort of a minimum eight mil thick, maybe 12 mil thick in some cases, that's what we've got here going on the walls. So I do think that that's a big issue. So I'm gonna get on, remove this nogging, 
get the patris in, screw this on, and then we'll hand it over to the plumbers who's gonna bring the hots and the colds in, and then I will be boring a series of holes through this petitioning to take our pipes where we need them. So using a multi-tool, I've cut through the fixings, which enable me to pull out this nogging, get it out of my way. All I've got to do is just remove the cables from it just by cutting carefully through there, take the cables out of the way. And that gives me the space I need for the patches, which is the first job. So I'm gonna set the valve at 1200 to the center of the finished floor. So that's the very first, first job. We're gonna get that line through. That's our datum and we'll take everything off of that. So there's the center of the valve. The next job is, let's get a patris in behind here, big enough to take the valve. So this is the valve, uh, thermostat on the bottom, and we're gonna basically line up this, the center between these two spigots is gonna be the center. Um, so we want a patris big enough, so let's make it plenty big enough. Let's say, let's make it 400. So I'm gonna make one 400 and 355. Five. So we're gonna cut that, get that fixed. Three, five, five. 400. All right, let's see if we've got a nice square edge on this piece of board. Perfect. Four hundred. So what I like to do is put a center line down as well, and that's what we'll mark everything to. So we'll whack a center line down there. We'll probably need some batten as well to space the patris off. So we'll make that now as well. Make these a little bit longer. That's lovely. So that's the parts that I need. We'll run them in and get them fixed up. So I mark these center lines back. This is the center of my valve. And I've also got that center line on the patris. So when I put the patris in, I just line up the center line with the center line and I haven't got to try and level it all through. I know it's pretty good there. And that's where we're gonna fix that. I'm gonna use my battens like this. I'll back fix this ply into the battens and then I'll fix these battens straight into the edge.
So I've actually done some more calculation with the tiles and the backerboard that's on site and I need to be 60 millimeters from the face of the stud back. So the patrice is 18 millimeters too. So that'll be 78 millimeters altogether to the back of the patrice. So if I mark that on this stud, it gives me roughly 18 millimeters. So if I get some more strips of OSB, which are also 18 mil, mount them on the back, it means I can put my patris all the way to the back. It can also mean that these cables which run to that socket can also go behind and they're out of the way as well. So that's really good. So we'll get some strips of OSB, mount them on the back, push the patris in and get it fixed in that position. So that's the patris set back the exact amount for our valve, as I say, governed by our very tight minimum and maximum. Just a matter of screwing it in. And then we can drill our holes for the services. And it's a nice and solid strong job which is what you want you want these to be super strong and secure now I've got everything lined up where I want it I just have to get this fixed in now so the plumber can come along and put all of his pipes to it. So I'm setting it obviously centrally to everything. We'll put a screw in one corner here like this. And then I'll get my laser, plumb it all up. And the job is a good one. So using the laser, I'm just coming all the way through the center of these parts here. And that'll give me a really true very difficult to plumb these up otherwise there's nothing to put a level on there's no the only thing you can do is measure down these centers with a laser and attach it and we'll get another screw around the back here here we go and that's it we have our valve fixed. We've got the hot and cold in. We've also got the handset pipe, which travels through the partition here, up to what we call a back plate elbow, mounted and ready for its board. The last connection we've got to do is for the fixed head, which is chased in the wall, comes through the stud work, through these studs, one, two, three, and we'll join into this feed here, which comes out of the valve on the side at the top. So I'm gonna drill through these joists. I wanna show you a quick tip here. I've just drawn a line dead level where I want the pipe. Now I'm gonna use a block of timber with a hole in it and a center line. I just offer that into the stud I'll show you, put in position, drill through, and everyone is in the right position and dead straight. I know it's not so much of a problem with plastic because you've got the flexibility of the pipe, but I still think that it's good to drill in a really true straight fashion. And this is the quickest and simplest tip I can give you for that. And all I'm gonna do is literally offer this in situ here. It's a bit hard to see. I have a center line on there with the line on my stud and then I'm just going to drill through obviously. Same here, center line, so I can take it from here to here, drill that through.
So that was how I like to first fix for a shower valve. There's the Patris 18mm OSB. You can use plywood, it's never gonna get wet. If it gets wet, then you're in big trouble. Nothing should leak. We leave everything under test, so it's pressured up, the water's actually in the valve, and that's how we like to operate, basically, so we know that every joint is checked before it all gets covered in again. Then we've got a couple of timbers there, which the Patris is fixed to. The Patris is packed off the exact right amount to make sure when the tiling shroud is on that we have the correct amount for the maximum and the minimum on the wall. And so there we have it. So that is the tiling shroud. That gets screwed on there. And that's it. And you can see all the pipes run off to their relevant positions. And it's always a lot of work. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching that. And if you've got to do them, basically that's how we do them.